It was amazing. Better than I dreamed. More than I had hoped, and it's all mine. And on top of that, they know me from Channel R. <laughs> oh, how you doing? I'm uh, terrific. You forgive me, darling, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought you'd heard. I spent the afternoon getting to know the folks at Channel One. Well, you can't know what people don't tell you. Are you happy about it? Ecstatic, really, absolutely out of my mind. Where is everybody? Uh, Ryan's gone for a walk with your mother. Yeah, Siobhan's uh, upstairs. Okay. <laughs> You know, I don't know where I... Darling, mind the store a minute, will you? It's, there's a bad draft back here. I'll talk to you about it in a second. Frank had the right idea. Go on to Florida, believe me. Hey, if you're looking for your sweater, it's where it always is. On the hook next to the stove. You're not terrific. <sighs> Tell me about your day, Mary. You sure it's okay? Try me. Okay, well... It was incredible. I mean, after Channel R, after count them, one camera and one studio, there were three floors, five studios, 10 cameras, 57 paid employees, one enormous studio for the news alone. And the news, of course, is one whole department. I mean, not like Channel R, where it's one sad, frustrated person. I mean, at Channel R, I had to do everything. Direct, produce, write, edit. I mean, uh, anger person is maybe too much said. Served its purpose, you learn the ropes. That's it... what's so wonderful about it. I know what to do. At least where to start. And anything I don't know, Thatcher Ross will tell me. Ross? Yeah, he's the head of the news department. He's done everything from police uh, reporting to the news correspondent. He's been in television for 20 years. Yeah. You know him? Oh, of course you do. I'm such a ninny. I didn't think. Well, mostly by reputation. I've run into him a couple of times. Up against him, I should say. He's, uh, he's pro. That's what Ray says. He's to be more or less my mentor. What's he like? You mean you haven't met him? Well, he's in Chicago until next week. But he'll be there on the first day of work, which is a week from today. And if I get my act together, I'll be on the air week after next. Ray Woodard hired somebody to work on Thatcher Ross evening news without getting his approval? Well, he was out of town. I assume she consulted him. I mean, I'm sure he approved. Oh. Huh. Well, Ray knew that they needed somebody, and I fulfill all the qualifications. I am good, you know. Hey, that, that's not the question. It's just that normally, don't you think that the head of a department would, well, at least go through the formality of an interview? I mean, even if he had to fly to Chicago, I I didn't think. Well, look, I, 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 don't, I don't want to scare you or anything. It's, it's... Oh, I, I'm sorry. It, it's just such a big job. We all know it is a big job. Not that big. I mean, the good thing about it is that it's completely predictable. I'm on the air every time at the same time every night. And as far as the research goes, it's all up to my schedule. And when the job's over, it's over. Sure, man. Hey, don't get negative on me, Finelli. Hey, you're gonna do fine? We're gonna do fine. Well, you're making an effort. What's been going on? A little talk with your mother yesterday. Thank you. Thank her. You know, uh, one of the first projects, one of the first features that I have to do is going to be a series on working wives and mothers. And I was thinking, I could practically do the whole thing out of Riverside. I mean, think of it. Faith, Jill, Ma, for goodness sake. Well, uh, can you say every room in the house, and it's right there on the hook near the stove. <sighs> Listen, darling, I'm all ears now. You just tell me about it. <laughs> I will, Dad, but first, my stomach is growling. Do you have anything to eat in there? Are you kidding? Help yourself. Thanks. You want anything? No, 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 thanks. I'm not hungry. OK. Good. Jack. Jack, listen, I gotta talk to you. Me? Yeah. I don't like what's going on in this house. And even though I hate to admit it, you may be just the person to do something about it.
it's so cold here. Tom, why? Please, dear God, don't let him leave me here. I'm afraid. Tom, why? Please. What? What is it, Tom? You're not resting well. I don't know. Something isn't right. No. Everything's as it should be. Where's Faith? She's gone. No. She can't be. Yes. But I want her here. I need her with me. No, you don't, Tommy. You're at peace now. It's what she wanted. She wasn't right for you. But you don't understand. She's good to me. Oh, Tom, you mustn't lie. That but isn't good. You don't know. Faith loves me. She stayed with me. She saved my life. Oh, yes. I remember. But Patrick was married to Delia then. Where? Did she leave me? She's gone. And it's better that way. No. Do you know what I wanted for you? When I couldn't love you or be with you? I wanted someone to love you as I did. You had every right to that, Tom O'Brien. You deserve someone fine and true. Ah, oh, Teresa. I thought she was like you. She had your warmth, your sweetness. But she betrayed you. And she lied. And she lost your baby because of it. I would never have done those things to you. But that was an accident. On the boat with Patrick. Sleep now, my darling. You need to rest. All right. Something's wrong with Faith. Now, where is she? Uh, why uh, me? Look, Jack, uh, Siobhan's sulking her head off upstairs. Mary won't even be in the same room with her. You've got an in with the both of them. I mean, Mary listens to you. Since when? Since the first day she met you. And Siobhan thinks you're very agreeable. Yeah, we're both square pegs. What? Square pegs in round holes. Neither one of us exactly fits in around here. Look, Fennelli, you'll be doing me a big favor if you don't do anything else to, to feed Siobhan's fantasy that she doesn't belong in this family, huh? Fantasy? She tried to tell everybody in this family that she didn't pass that, that rotten story to Wes Leonard, right? By accident or purpose. Not anybody? Anybody take her word? All right, all right. I feel bad enough about it as it is, Jack. But remember, please, I didn't find out about it until it was over. And Mary felt bad about it, too, until this latest uproar. And now she's back to her old routine of Siobhan deliberately starting trouble in this family, taking that job with family planning. You buy that? I don't know. I'm not exactly crazy about it, Jack, but... That's not the point. What I don't buy is the state of war going on in this family right now. You're asking me to do something about it? Yeah. Well, where's Kathleen? I thought she was the resident peacemaker. Well, Cass tried to do something, but she could never get the two of them in the same place at the same time. And, Jack, now they're both here, so I'm asking you, will you talk to them? Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. You'll figure something out, but you're the man for the job. I uh, carry more weight than their father. No, Jack. It's just that their father carries too much weight. I mean, if one of them thinks I'm showing favor to the one, the other one gets hurt, don't you see, Jack? Oh, terrific. Terrific. I can throw a monkey wrench into my marriage or damage whatever friendship I have with my sister-in-law, huh? Well, come on. If you handle it right, you don't have to. I'm sorry, Johnny. To me, it sounds like a no-win situation, okay? No, I, th I think that you should just back off and give them time, let them work it out themselves. Oh, Jack, they have had 23 years. 
Look, I know my daughters. Mary's too stiff-necked to bend an inch, and Siobhan's liable to go out and do something else crazy. Jack, come on, I'm asking you for the first time. As a member of this family, will you, will you help out? Huh? Okay, Johnny, I'll uh, see what I can do. Oh, thanks, Jack. Thanks. Mary? Hmm? You want a bite? Oh, uh, bring it upstairs. Come on. Appetite? Sit. So much for serenity. Hello. <clears throat> I uh, suppose you're wondering why I called you here. No. It... Actually, I could care less. Actually, I could think of a lot of nicer ways to spend an afternoon, too. Swimming with piranha fish and wrestling an alligator. Or... Well, Nellie, as a stand-up comic, you make a great reporter. Like I said, I'm not here because I want to be. Your father asked me to talk to you. Together. Good grief. Wouldn't you know it? Dear old Betty. Frankly, I don't think there's much point in it either. You're both too damn bullheaded to expect any progress. But Johnny and I agree on one thing. The atmosphere around here is definitely lousy. Caution. Breathing in Ryanland may be hazardous to your health. Maybe we should all stop breathing. You first. So, I'm wondering if there's anything that can be done to ease the situation. I, for one, am entirely at ease. Yeah, me too. Jack, you haven't been around the family long enough to realize that this is ordinary. Since Siobhan's returned, it's been business as usual. Cool it, Mary. Oh, absolutely. When Siobhan's not here, this place is Camelot. Okay, you two, just cut it out. Both of you. Well, no, the way I see it, there's truth on both sides. Siobhan's feeling bad because uh, family wouldn't trust her. Now, that's not unreasonable. But then she marches downtown, takes a job that she knows is going to cause a commotion here. Right. Uh, Siobhan, I felt so bad for you until you turned around and did a number like that. What was I supposed to do? I needed the job. The job was there. Am I supposed to come running home and check everything out with Mother? You have a right to do whatever you want to do, but don't then get your precious feelings hurt because Ma and the rest of us react precisely as you planned it. You didn't need a job. You needed another grievance to add to your collection. You, so you could continue to say, poor me, poor me, I try to do the right thing, but they'll never, never love me. The family planning conference. If you'd done it. I would never do it, damn it. Well, maybe I would. If I honestly thought that it was right and useful and in accordance with my beliefs. It is. It's all of that to me. All right. But then I would accept the fact that Mother would totally counter those beliefs. Her beliefs are, are, are exactly the opposite. And I wouldn't blame her for feeling hurt and angry. You meant to hurt her, Siobhan. Admit it. Oh, what difference does it make what I say, one way or the other? My trials are usually conducted without my testimony. We're... We're listening. I didn't mean to hurt her. I meant to... Go on. You meant to uh, stir the pot a little? I... That wasn't the main point. I needed that job. I had to go out and do something on my own. Yeah, but you had to know that there uh, might be a reaction. Well, I suppose so. But there's always a reaction. Oh, am I wrong, or uh, you have an investment in this? How do you mean? She's done it, see? So I don't have to feel guilty about not trusting her before, huh? No. Hmm? Well, I, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe. Siobhan, I am sorry I hurt you. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you about Wes, really. Thank you. I'm, 
I'm sorry I caused more trouble. And I, I take back those stupid things I said to you yesterday. You didn't tell him? Ah, uh, forget it. Uh, could, uh, could we just forget the whole business, hmm? No, oh, no way. It all goes right into my computer and comes right back out every time Shabbat. somebody punches up my number. Yeah, but uh, you kind of like that, don't you? Do you want an honest answer? I like attention. I love it. I prefer the positive kind over the negative, but anything is better than being ignored. Yeah, well, frankly, I don't see how anybody could ignore you for longer than about uh, five seconds. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Also, I feel obliged to say that this overwhelming need to be up front so that everybody has to concentrate on you is something that you could outgrow with a little effort. I know that. I do try. I've been trying that since I was four years old. The problem is that I regress. Well, that's, that's understandable. But particularly this time you had a reason, but enough for a while, okay? Got it. Really, truly, I promise. Mary? Okay. But uh, how do we make sure that this isn't just one of these facile things that uh, will blow up in two minutes? Well, I could give you a clumsy apology, if you prefer that. Siobhan, I'm serious. You're always serious. I must say, Siobhan, you, you have a knack for keeping things going. Oh, yeah. They couldn't get over that at the Seattle jail. You know, you remind me of me in a lot of ways. Now, when I was at the orphanage of the Good Shepherd, they used to give us little black ribbons with every demerit. And you had to have them pinned on your shirt until you worked them off. <laughs> and you had a shirt full. Wore them like metals. I knew we had a lot in common. Now, now Mary got demerits, too, but they were always noble demerits. He acquired for beating up on kids who said something bad about her brother, huh? Am Precisely. I correct? Precisely. <laughs> Never just for this sheer joy of being badder than anybody else. You understand being bad, don't you? That was all I understood for a long time. Are you a sore loser? Terrible. The worst. No, I am the worst. Can you sulk? For days. <laughs> Do you like to get even? Oh, I'm sorry to admit it, but I love it. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. I think that's wonderful. Mayor, the nicest thing you ever did for me was to make him my brother-in-law. <laughs> There's something the matter with Faith. Now, where is she? It doesn't matter now. You know where she is. Tell me, Teresa. Lie back. You mustn't be angry. You know that's not good. Forget about Faith. But she's in trouble. She needs me. If Faith is in trouble, don't you see she brought it on herself? She lied. She was unfaithful. She caused the others to lie. I don't know. I don't know. She was ill. She's weak. I think she's hurt. She's hurt you, Tom. So badly. I have to find her. If you find her, what will you do? Ask her to come back? Be a husband to her? Will she be a wife to you, Tommy? Will she be true to you? She doesn't want your children. But we can make it work. We, we were trying. And if there were a child, how could you be sure? Now stop that! I won't hear it! Oh, hush. You needn't be angry. That's why I'm here. Where... Where is she? She didn't want to leave, did she? It's not important. I know. I've got to remember. We were in the boat. Faith, Faith was asleep. The sun was shining on her hair. She looked so peaceful. Tired. Yes, she was tired from walking too far. You're tired, Tom. Lie back and rest. No, no. In the boat. 
water. It was as cold as ice. Faith, I, I let her sleep. There was a sign. Danger. Waterfall. I let her. Oh, my God. <laughs> what if you could change your past? Erica does every week because sometimes the only way to move forward is to go back. A new original primetime drama, Being Erica, Thursdays at 10 on SoapNet.